Hello my beautiful glam fam and welcome to today's video. We are testing out new makeup and I'm so excited. You guys know I always get so giddy when I try new makeup. So I have the new palette by Dominique Cosmetics. This was a requested video from our beautiful glam fam sister Lise. I have never tried Kristen Dominique's makeup and I am so excited you guys. I am blown away by it, first of all. And then I have the new Buxom Matte Lip Product. I have the new Beauty Blender Bounce Cream Bronzer and Highlighter. We're just gonna play. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. I'm Christy. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click that post notification bell so you can join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Thursday and Sunday now. So always Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and most likely be around 3 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, on Thursdays for the uploads. So make sure you have that bell on and please give this video a huge thumbs up before we start. If you like this video, I really appreciate it if you click that like button and comment below as it really does help my videos out. You can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and you can check out my new merch, Glamorous Life Collections. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> You guys, let's get started. We're gonna try out some new makeup today. I had a request from Lise. She wanted me to review the new Dominique The Moment. So this is her newest release, and I have heard really amazing things about her eyeshadows. I do wanna pick up the Transition Palette. I wanna pick that up eventually. So I love that she puts a message in everything. Letting go is the key to happiness. Isn't that the truth, you guys? That is so the truth. Let's go over those shades really quick. We have Stepping Out, which is an army green. Mesmerize, which is an iridescent multi-shimmer. Life of the Party, which is a gorgeous turquoise shimmer. Dinero is an eye gold shimmer with green reflect la noche which is a matte black with silver shimmer topper in it elevate it which is a matte chocolate essential a warm cognate matte embrace a cream matte after hours a deep bronze with gold shimmer and midnight haze which is a deep blue shimmer it is gorgeous you guys I mean do you see how creamy those shimmers are that is beautiful. I cannot wait. This is a first impression. And I love that she included Embrace in there because everyone needs a shade like that in their palette, that bone color to either kind of diffuse out lines, to lie down as like a general base. It is beautiful. So I do have the Wayne Goss Cream Foundation. You have already seen that video. That was my last video. You can check it out right there. I reviewed his brand new luxury cream foundation in weightless translucent powder. So I have that on already. We are gonna try this Beauty Blender Bounce Bronzer and Highlighter. The weird thing about this product is I bought it when it first released at Sephora, received it, and then it went away. I tried to contact Sephora. They don't know why. I don't understand. It's still available on their website, but it's out of stock. And it, so you can see the different shades that it's available in. I did go with Champagne and Topaz. Champagne is the highlighter, Topaz is the bronzer. So this is a little too warm for my taste as a, a contour. So I use it more as like a bronzer effect, but we'll kind of contour bronze in one today just to try it out. It is very emollient. It is very very like kind of a, it just blends right in. So it's gonna be very easy to play with. So Mandy Moore wore this on a red carpet. I saw an article and they had used this on her. So I thought it was really beautiful. And I saw that Sephora just released it and then took it away. I don't understand what's going on with that. But Bounce is their kind of new thing with Beauty Blender. So we'll try that out. We'll do the highlighter and we'll do that. So the highlighter is a little too dark for me. Uh, for a highlighter. Uh, I think it'd be good for like the skin to like bronze up the skin, but I personally wouldn't use that as a highlighter. So that's why I think I would have, I wish I would have got the first one, which I think is buff and something else. I think like a pearly type highlighter, that would have been a better one for me for a highlighter for my skin tone. But we'll try this out. I will show you a arm swatch of all of my favorite cream bronzer contour shades and you can kind of see what it looks like amongst the other ones beauty blender topaz which is the bronzer color then you have abh anastasia beverly hills and that's amber you guys know it's one of my favorites and then we have happy soul by rare beauty persona cosmetics sahara 
Chanel Bronze Universal, the original shade, and then I have the darker one next to it. I've never done those on camera, but very, very amazing cream bronzers. And then Tom Ford, one of my favorites to contour, cream contour with, and that's Intensity One. And then Hourglass Sable, which you guys know I love using for contour, cream contour as well. So those are all, all the shades next to what you know, next to Topaz. So they all start to kind of look the same, you know, some more warm than others. So let's try this out. I am gonna use this on, we'll start off with a smaller brush so we can kind of see what a contoured effect would look like. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G. Uh, this is just the classic cheek brush, the mini base, sorry. So we'll just kind of rub that on there. We'll take down the back of the cap just to kind of take off the excess. And I'm trying this over, I have Wayne Goss's Weightless Powder on, so we're gonna see how well it goes over the powder if it just drops it. Actually, this is a good color. Ooh, it's pigmented. Whoa, that was way more pigmented than I thought. All right, let's take the back of my sponge and just start blending that in. Okay, we can fix it. Ooh, blends nicely. That is way more pigmented, pigmented than I thought. So I'll just blend that in. Ooh, pretty. I went a little too low on that. Let's go up a little bit higher. Little too low there. We can take the Wayne Goss in my shade eight and go underneath it just to kind of help that out. So this is his sponge or his puff. We'll go underneath that just to clean that up. This makes a good one to clean up contour. The beauty of cream products is doing that. All right, let's take my uh, brush now and just, this has a little bit of foundation on it. Nothing you can't fix. That was way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. So very beautiful, but way pigmented. I'm not gonna put any more product on this. I'm just gonna go with whatever was left on there. We'll be a little bit more precise this time. Yeah, you don't need very much. Oh my gosh, I went a little too crazy on that side. Ooh, it's nice. It really blends into the skin. And the ingredients look good. There was no coconut oil, thank goodness. Maybe these companies will finally start to listen to us one of these days. I ended up getting rid of the Wayne Goss bronzer because I found out it had, I looked at the ingredients and it had coconut oil in it. I was like, why? Pretty though. Ooh, that's really nice, you guys. I, I'm impressed with that. So this is more emollient. I think if you have very dry skin, this is a much better one than my Anastasia ABH. This is a little bit drier of a formula, but you know, it's still good but it's, and it's way more pigmented. So you have to really like work that in and make sure that you're not overdoing it. So just, if you felt like the ABH one was just a little too much for you, then this is a way more emollient one. If you can get your hands on it, I'm hoping Sephora will put it back on their website, but I will keep you guys updated. And you can sign up on the Beauty Blender website for out of stock notifications. So it doesn't, it's not taken off their website, which gives me confidence that it's still around. Uh, but unfortunately it's not on the Sephora one right as of right now. So I don't know why they pulled it, but yeah, it looks really good. All right, let's dip into this eyeshadow palette and we will start off with, we're gonna start off with Embrace to set down the eyeshadow base, but I forgot we gotta apply that first, you guys. So I have it on the back of my hand. That's kind of what it looks like. It's really nice, it almost like you can, this would be actually a pretty concealer color too. I'd be interested to see how that would work out. So we're just gonna start off with my finger and we're just gonna put it on both sides. I already did my brows off camera real quick. And then let me take my uh, Bedallium Tools brush and we're just gonna kind of start spreading that out. And I will have all the products below as always when you guys utilize my affiliate links, it really helps me out. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma sponge I always use to kind of clean up. And lately what I've been liking to do is just take that pointed end and then just blend it in. And I don't, it's not wet. I actually like it dry doing this. Very nice. It is a nice eyeshadow base. It actually is a really nice one. Actually, I kind of like it a little bit more than Juvia's Place. The more I'm putting it on now, it doesn't like settle into my fine lines, which is nice. You know, I have more textured eyelids at 44 than most do, so at 30 and 20. Okay, let's use that color Embrace, and we're gonna take it on to this Fenty like concealer brush. 
And I'm just gonna pull that on there. It's a nice bone color. I'm just gonna pop, ooh, that is pigmented. That is nice. Sometimes those kind of colors are not always so nice. I think this is not the right brush for it though. Let's try a different brush. Uh, let's use the Dominique Cosmetics one I bought. So this is just her, I don't know, something the pigment, the pigment, maybe it's a number there. I can't read, I can't see. We're gonna try that on this brush and see if that, ooh, oh yeah, that's gonna really draw in some pigment there if you want it to like really be brightened right there. I think this is a good one to do the glitters with too. Let's just try putting it on my brow bone like that to kind of clean up the brows a little bit. So I have on my Valentino eyebrow pencil. This is the only thing I'm reaching for, but I think because I just lightened my hair again doing the roots, I'm gonna have to go into a lighter shade. So this is granite, but it's still really nice. This is oh, my favorite brow product ever right now. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my Senna eyebrow gel. I forgot to do that on here. And this just kind of I already lightened my brows. My color has lightened my brows for me. Let's go in with, ooh, so we're gonna, probably gonna have to do that one as a transition shade because I don't see anything lighter. Okay, so this is the Angie Hot Flashy in 8503 BK Beauty. Love it. Thank you BK Beauty for sending these over to me. I'm so excited to play with these. You guys are so amazing. I love doing my contour with the blush brush. You can buy this as a set or you can buy them separately now. They're now available separately. But this is amazing for that contour right here. Oh, I love this brush, you guys. It is like the perfect, it fits in there perfectly. I'm gonna be doing an over 40 tutorial. These are made for mature skin, you guys. They're in Incredible. And I now have a coupon code with BK Beauty, so you can use my coupon code at checkout and get yourself 10% off. So we're gonna use that color onto this brush. Uh, again, that's uh, essential, essential, the essential shade. We're just gonna put that one right here. I love that Angie made these, br oh my gosh, you guys, that pigment is unreal. Uh, I love that she made these for mature eyes. And as we get older, our eyes become more hooded whether you have hooded eyes or not, it's just natural what happens to your eye shape as we get older. So I love that she really focused on her brushes fitting into that pig, uh, hooded eye shape. Oh, so beautiful, you guys. Wow, oh my gosh, I have to get the transition palette. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, Lise, you were right. Her shadows are incredible. All right, so the next one is uh, Elevated. I'm gonna use that darker shade just to kind of, just smoke out the uh, edges a little bit. So we're just gonna do that one and we're just gonna do this one on the outer corner. Oh my gosh, you guys. These shadows are like a mature girl's dream. Oh my goodness. The other day I was even having a hard time with my Viseart shadows, oddly enough. Uh, my eyes were so like peeling, they hurt so bad. So unit 307, I'm gonna take that brush, clean it off a little bit and just go over that and just start blending it out. I love this brush too, it's so soft. These are so affordable at Beautylish, by the way, you guys, these, um, like they mimic the Japanese hair. I actually like this one, even this BK Beauty one, just as much as I like my mini booster Sonia G that you guys know, but this is synthetic. So if you guys don't like, you know, real hair, natural hair brushes, this is a really, really good one to pick up if you have hooded eyes like me. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. All right, going back in to that BK Beauty and I'm actually gonna go into my Hourglass Bronzer just to kind of diffuse out the edges a little bit on top of there. And this is uh, Nude Bronze Light. Oh my gosh, did I just find my new favorite shadows, you guys? Oh my gosh. My eyes are swollen right now, you guys. I don't know if you can tell on camera, they've gotten better. I've had cortisone cream on all through my filming with Wayne Goss tutorial uh, because I am allergic to the House of Lash Glue now. I am so bummed, Amber, because I, I text Amber right away or messaged her right away to let her know because I know she's a huge fan of the, um, 
house of lash glue like I am and this is like literally like if you want your eyelashes to stay this has been the best glue on the market I think they changed their formula I don't think it's the same a it's not staying and B it literally I had last night they were like swollen swollen like itchy and swollen so I, I can't use it anymore I'm so bummed so bummed so I'm just gonna go in with my kiss one but it's the only one that doesn't make me swell up like a balloon all right now let's play with more colors uh i kind of want to try that army green out but i can't because that won't look good with the blue so we're just gonna have to save that for a different look and we're just gonna try this blue out just because i'm like i have to try it i mean it's just insanely pigmented it's crazy it's so beautiful i have to I can do another look if you guys want a more green look. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't want to use uh, anything underneath it because I want to see how well this performs. I mean, I have her eyeshadow base, but I could have cut creased it a little bit more, but I really just want to see what this is like first. Wow, typically that would be falling out like crazy and I don't see any fallout there. That's insane. Oh my gosh. That is incredible, you guys, incredible. Like how could I get this palette and not play with it? This is a really good packer brush. Her brushes are really inexpensive too. I will have everything individually linked so you guys can just go to it. Be easy to go and it'll be in the description box. I do have the new NARS one, the summer one, so we'll be doing a look with that next week. I know it's not new, new anymore, so that's why I'm not in a rush to get it out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's just try this other blue one, the darker blue. So that color was life of the party. Let's just see what Midnight Haze looks like. I'm just curious. So this one seems more of like a topper. Let's put that one like right here and just see what that looks like. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty too. So that one doesn't have as much base to it, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. We're trying to use as many colors as we can that will go together. Just putting it on the edge just to blend in the other dark color to that. So we're gonna take this really small Morphe one and going back into that first turquoise blue. Oh, you guys, that is gorgeous. <sighs> okay, let's go in with this Sonia G Mini Booster. We're going back into that dark color, elevate it. And we're just gonna kind of start blending that out right there oh my gosh why have I never tried her shadows in the past going back into essential and blending that out is unbelievably gorgeous it's effortless all right I just want to just try this this is more of like a topper this is mesmerized oh, and we're gonna just put that over the blue just just to play yeah just kind of switched up the color a little bit it's like a duochrome Kind of just, I'm just putting that in the center area. Ooh, kind of lightened up that middle area. Ooh, 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 ooh. Back to that first brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is gorgeous. All right, let's play with this black one. I'm just out of curiosity, want to see how that performs. This little black with the reflex in it. I just curious to see how it performs. We're gonna take it onto this Sonia G crease one brush and just put that onto the outer corners just to kind of see where what that one does. Yeah, and I just wanted to mesh together that darker blue right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one to do that with. Ooh, okay, this is very smoky, but you know. That's where we are today. And now because those colors are so pigmented, I'm gonna stick to the bronzer to diffuse out any edges. So going in with my Wayne Goss number five brush into my Hourglass bronzer. We're just gonna go, I like this one because it's pointed and I can be very specific in blending that out. I'm just blending out the edges there like that. Ooh, 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 so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is gorgeous. All right, let's take this crown brush and we're going to just a flat concealer type brush. We're gonna go into that bone color and that first one we use. I'm just gonna kind of start highlighting the brow bone with more of a matte finish there. I feel like because the eyes are so sparkly, just kind of 
doing a matte color there will kind of just balance it all out. I want the focal point to be that blue. So if I did what I normally do, I do like a highlight color there. I think it would, it would be too much. Like I think I like it better like this. I was just trying it out and I like it. I like it. All right, let's do the lower lash line and let's put, what color do we want to do? I did buy the new Kat Von D tattoo liner, uh, but it's in purple. So that one's not going to match. I want to use that in a different look. So I think we're going to use my 24 seven main line. You guys know this is like my favorite go-to bluish green color. And we're just going to kind of line this part. Oh, that's so pretty. That goes perfectly. So this is urban decay main line. I think they only sell this one at Ulta, this color. They sell Urban Decay liners at Sephora, but only at Ulta can I find the main line. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Okay, let's go in with this flat brush. It already has like the sparkly on it and let's kind of just start diffusing out the edges with this liner, setting it down with the blue. That actually works really well for kind of just setting down the lower lash line. I really like this brush. I want to try more of your brushes. That's a pretty good brush. Ooh, I am so impressed, you guys. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, let's uh, take this essential shade and kind of just buff out the edges on the bottom. We'll take my Chicahoto brush. It's like a pointy one. And we're going to go into essential. Just kind of go like that a little bit. It's pigmented, so be mindful of that, kind of dipping it off onto the cap of. All right, you guys, so I popped on my Amy June lashes. You can use my code Christy15 at checkout and get 15% off if you like my lashes. These are the ones I predominantly use in my videos just because I never can go wrong with my Amy June Eve lashes. They just always, they're just the best. They're amazing. So, and I love supporting smaller companies. All right, so I have the shadow on and I am loving it, you guys. This quality is impeccable, impeccable. I, I'm just mad at myself that I didn't use her shadows sooner. And for my 44 year old eyes that have texture and you know are not as youthful as my 20s and 30s, I do feel like it glides on perfectly. Obviously this is a very smoky blue intense look. We had to really put it through the test and really test out these shadows, but I can't wait on my next get ready with me video. Well, I'm going to do the NARS one first. I'm going to do this one and then I will go to this guy back to this guy because I want to create more of a brown look because I've been loving bronze looks lately. I've been really diving into my Natasha Denona bronze palette and using that predominantly off, off camera. And I think this is going to be that same concept where it's just gorgeous. The only thing I felt like was missing in this palette was just one lighter transition color I would have loved. But other than that, I think it's very pretty. I wasn't, this one wasn't my favorite Enchanted. It's beautiful, but it wasn't my favorite. So I am honestly, I wish she would have left that one out and did like a, a lighter transition. It, that's just being really meticulous. So other than that, it's a perfect palette. It's beautiful. I am going to buy more palettes from Kristen Dominique. And I really loved, I do really, really like this primer. I will repurchase this again and I wanna try more of her brushes out. So all in all, I give that palette a five out of five stars. 150% of me would recommend that palette. It is beautiful, especially if you like uh, a palette where you can kind of take from day to night. I think that is the perfect palette to do that with and really create some fun drama looks. And I can't wait to play with that army green because I think that's going to be beautiful. And I think what I'll do is I'll mix it with my hourglass vivid and that will be insanely gorgeous. So we will be playing more with that palette for sure. Comment below if you had your eyes out on this palette, if you've ever tried any Dominique Cosmetics products, and if you have more recommendations for me, put it down on the bottom. I love hearing from you guys. All right, we're going to try out this new uh, Buxom, and this is their lip polish matte. So you guys know I love my Buxom. I have tons of Buxom glosses. So I was really excited to try this out because this is their matte version, although my lips are ultra dry today. Okay, let's try this. This is Dolly, and I don't, I'll put how many shades it comes in right there. But I think these are only at Ulta right now, I think. But really pretty. They just released them last week. So, or this week. We'll see if it has that same tingly effect. 
and it's so beautiful. I like taking my finger just because I feel like it kind of uh, helps soften out the product. Ooh, that is beautiful. What do you guys think? That is so pretty. I love that. I'm just gonna kind of blend it in with the lip liner a little bit more. Wow, that's, that's really pretty. I'm like, can't even talk. All right, I do wanna just try this on the high points of my cheek. This is like so hard to get up. Ugh, it's weird. But it's kind of, I think it's gonna just be too light. But we'll just kind of see what it looks like there. Okay, I can do it like on the high points. That's pretty. Like if you want it like more of a natural, like literally, I think this is perfect. It's like a cushiony, like a pillowy type bomb. I think if you want it to, look at how well it just blends in with my skin. I think that'll be really pretty on the collarbones too, because you can use this on the body as well. That is really pretty. So that's how everything turned out. I just wanted to try on some new makeup with you guys, have some fun. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before you go and click that post notification bell so you don't miss my weekly uploads. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. All the links will be provided on the bottom. Make sure to check out my merch, GlamorousLifeCollections.com. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys, love you. Thank you.